We're going to make a dolphin, just a simple dolphin today, um, in the ocean. He could be swimming in the ocean or he could be flipping up out of the ocean. It's up to you how you want to decorate him in the end. Um, but first you want to start by visualizing the dolphin on your page. That way you have enough room for the entire dolphin because he's very long here. Um, we're going to start with an eyeball and we're going to find our center of our page first, which is probably right around here. And from the center, we're going to go up diagonally. And I like to visualize my dolphin first in my mind before I sketch it because you want to be able to have room for the nose and you have, want to have enough room for your tail. You don't want his tail off the page. If you start over here, you won't have room. Uh, so visualizing is real important when you're sketching out any subject, really. Visualize it on your page so your placement is, is perfect. Uh, so start off finding your center and jumping up diagonally and putting a dot. From this dot, we're going to draw a donut right around it, just a circle so it looks like a little donut. And this will be his eye. From there, we're going to put a small curve lid, just real close, just to give some extra line in here, extra detail. And then we'll start forming the top of his head with just a very straight line. From the top of the head, we're going to go ahead and we're going to kind of slope down a little bit, just a little curve down. And I'm only going as far as this eye. So if I bring my eye straight over, I'm only sloping down just a little like that. And then I'm going to kind of put a curve in here and flip it up just a little bit on this side. We're starting to form the snout. This is kind of a wrinkle in his head. And then from there I'm going to go out straight. Now this is still in a, like a nice curved shape. It kind of flows, so bring it here and continue your line so it flows nicely. And then keep it real close, just put a little line coming diagonally down. And then I'm going to form the mouth. So I'm going to stop at this line here, and I'm going to go diagonally down and then over. Keep it straight. This is going to form the, the nose of the dolphin. And then I'm going to come around real close to this, very close, and form the bottom of his head right here. So very close and straight. I'm going to stop at the eyeball. From here, I'm going to visualize my arch for my dolphin because he's jumping and flipping out. I can come around the head a little bit. He's jumping and flipping out and I want my tail down here. So I'm going to leave plenty of room for a tail and I'm going to put, this is where I visualize the curve, this is where my tail is going to end. So I'm going to curve my dolphin to the end of the tail. Then this area, I'm going to curve around and then I'm going to skip a space, about the size of my finger, I'm going to skip a space, and I'm curving around. This almost is like a, a circle. This will form the tail fins. Between these two tail fins, I'm going to jump down, and I'm going to put a dot. So I'm jumping down diagonally, down diagonally, and in the middle I'm putting a dot. This is where the fins will meet. So they come from here, they can come down, and you can even extend your line if you need to. Curve around, and this one actually goes almost off the page here. And connecting. So this forms my two flip fins. And then we need to make the upper flipper here. So I'm going to move this in a little bit, and I'm going to put a straight line down, number one. And then I'm going to round it over and back. Kind of like a backwards L. I'm going to jump over a finger space, put a little one, and I'm going to connect and make the flipper. So this is one of his side flippers. Now this line, this comes off his body, then it's going to continue this way, and we're going to connect it to the tail. So I'm going to bring it up, and I'm slowly, gradually meeting this line. So this now forms my dolphin. He's narrower here, and then it gets wider here as it meets the head. And the dolphin top fin is going to be on to measured with this. So I'm going to take his flipper, go up straight, and then I'm going to go up with a curve and back. Skip over about a finger, or a little bit more actually, for this. Here's my finger, so I went over a little bit more than a finger. Up, curve, and then meet. Now I rounded it to meet. And there's his top fin. Now you can go ahead and decorate your 
dolphin any way you want to. If you want to put seashells in and fish, sandy bottom, you can put a um, horizon line in if he's jumping up out of the air like this. So it's up to you how you want to decorate your dolphin. And a horizon line is where the earth or ocean meets the sky. And it's a straight line across the page. Here the horizon line is higher. And then you have room for land. Or if there's no horizon line, he's under the sea, you could put your sand and shells at the bottom.